such a claim or not. And certainly there are arguments to be had about that. It's one of those claims that you could make and not be immediately laughed out of the room. And that's one of the scary things to consider is that you might actually have to stop and think about that. And certainly Spargo is going to give Chag something to think about as we go to Pokemon Stadium 2. Top 8 spot on the line. Perhaps a qualification for that Pandemic Anniversary series as well, Skip. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely... I think both these players actually might be involved in that. I don't know if Spargo's competed yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if Spargo has a spot as it is. They certainly will after this for sure. I mean, there's no way they're not going to top eight. But yeah, it's definitely going to be tough. And this is another part that we kind of brought up earlier. We talked about Riddles, Yes being a Grand Finals anywhere else. Any match we're going to see from now on could be a Grand Finals in any other tournament. Just we're not going to see that today um, because... I mean, we could see this one. I don't know. It, it, it depends on how all these players are playing right now. But Spargo, again, still doing a great job here, putting on some good pressure. A little bit behind percentage-wise, but Chag needs to do something quick because Spargo's starting to get this tempo into their favor. I mean, Spargo certainly has a claim to that top spot in Mexico after beating Meister, MKLeo, and Chag in that Smash World Tour Mexico Online qualifier just, uh, I mean, over a month ago now. It feels feels weird saying over a month ago now oh. Smash World Tour, but <laughs> nevertheless, again at the ledge, Chag. Oh, they remember that all too well, and uh, certainly remember that edge guarding. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that's a bad call. They're going for the second explosive flame. I don't know if that was a miss input or not, but you're taking a lot of damage for that. 47 will get the back and won't close out the stock, but he does have his limit. And look at that. All of a sudden, he's got stage control. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Chag is eventually going to take that stock sitting at 69% and certainly not for long as Spargo is going to take the initiative and tack on just a little bit more and yeah you really have to eat your lunch at this ledge as Spargo is certainly not trying to stay there for all too long luckily Pelican has just the tool for that kind of situation yeah up air thing up air shenanigans are still a thing online or off skip yo I think Chad got like a crazy like last hit Nair landing there, and that popped him right up into his second Nair. That was actually kind of wild. Uh, great stuff from Chad. Gonna be able to answer back here. Not gonna, oh, we'll take the stock. Oh man, we actually saw Spargo actually start to act out of it a little bit, but unfortunately, just, I don't know if they didn't DI right, or if it's really just Palutena's his back here. Could be both. Gonna even it up with a dash attack though. One stock apiece, zero percent. This is exactly what I want to see between two top players. And now, at back air, Spargo. On these, uh, on their last stock, and honestly, a lot closer than maybe I was expecting. Chag, in fact, with a little bit of a lead here, and this is uh, kind of what we wanted to see from Chag. Certainly, we saw shades of it starting this, uh, starting our commentary block off. Actually, Skip, when they were facing off in top 64, but I mean, Spargo, all of a sudden, maybe not playing with as much confidence as Chag seems to be calling out their options just a little too often for Spargo's comfort. Yeah, I mean, it's what you said earlier in that last set. Oh, no, there's Ooh. no way that's it. Oh, my God. He killed him. Oh, wow. Spargo getting the cross slash limit break at the very end there to close that out. Um, did that just pop up or did he have limit break for a little bit? I, I'm already forgetting. <laughs> I, I just kind of assume that the uh, that the aura that we see around Spargo is just kind of there permanently. That's right. about what I uh, that's just about what I assume. So I maybe my eyes deceive me. Maybe I just superimpose it. Whatever it is, I leave it to you, the folks at home, to decide. As we are going to go right back into game number two, as Skiff just kind of knowingly nods his head. I appreciate your friendship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, I will leave it there as we go to Pokemon Stadium for game two. You just stare at the camera, man. I was so nervous. <laughs> like, damn, this. I, mean, I know we're friends and everything, but this bearded man staring at me, all of a sudden I feel like he's a stranger. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> just, <laughs> I feel like I'm not really even dressed all that intimidatingly. I'm uh, it's not, you don't have to, man. It's just the, the beard. You're, 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 you're a big dude, man. You, just, you look intimidating sometimes, but you're a sweetheart. I know, I know. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Just don't get on my bad side and you're good. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know, good. I probably won't. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, we're going to have that back air. Spargo. Well, Chag might be on their bad side. That back air going to clear them right across the stage and certainly into the oh. blast zone on the ledge. Spargo playing like a soldier on a mission here. Oh, man. Yeah, we'll have to uh, 
See if Chan can answer back. That was definitely a tough loss. Oh boy, barely missing out on that forward smash. But as I was saying, yeah, that was a tough loss in that game one. Kind of really came down to a, a final hit situation. And Spargo's just going to continue to use that momentum from that game one. Just continuing to not only take a stock here, but building up so much extra credit. This is starting to get pretty tough. Limit on deck as well. Could take out another stock. Yeah, and it's not like Chag isn't getting these small victories here and there, but the reason we say small is that they're kind of thus far insignificant. They're piling up damage, but have not been able to clear out these stocks, and you really do kind of need to be able to maximize that, especially Woo! as Cloud has themselves off the ledge, but it's going to be the down smash that clears off that one for number one in the, uh, in the book of Chag. I don't know how long of a book that's going to be. Spargo looking to try to cut it out before it gets published. Oh, man, this is definitely getting tough as we move forward here, though. Uh, again, these two are just absolutely going to battle, but Chag's got to find a way to put down some damage quickly. 96%. That's no joke, especially against a cloud as polished as Spargo's. That back here, not going to take the stock, but 126. This is getting really tough. The forward tilt will certainly clean that up. Final stock situation for Chag. Keep in mind, this is a best of three. It's do or die, or you go to loser's bracket. Spargo actually has not gotten a top eight spot at a pandemic anniversary series yet. They did wind Ooh. up entering last week where they got wins over people like Celine Shady and Spike, but got eliminated. Remember, Kabi, the hero, wound up beating them in uh, in three games. That's right. And then L-Man in the, uh, I think it was the, uh, the Xeno Twins ditto. But mm. either way, it's going to be Spargo hanging out there at the ledge. Deciding enough is enough. I'm going to pick up Cloud Strife and with all the rage or maybe Mako in their eyes, who knows? You're gonna have to take on the Goddess of Light and make quick work of Chag, their fellow countrymen. And it's gonna be the dash attack that does it off of the shortest ceiling and competitive ultimate. Fargo will move on, fly like an eagle and a top eight. That was absolutely insane. Great stuff from Spargo finding a way to just open that up. I think last week, if I'm not mistaken, Spargo was actually running Pyramithra the entire time. So I don't think they were super worried about it, but like, obviously, you know, you have a little bit more on the line here. Yeah, you kind of want to bring out your main, but yeah, great stuff to Spargo. And honestly, I'm not going to be surprised. Like I know Chag is going to lose his bracket here. I wouldn't be surprised if Chag makes the run. Uh, I think it was just two days ago. They were playing in a big tournament. They got, uh, they got wins over Ardeo, Myron, Meister, Spargo twice. Spargo twice. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Spargo twice. <laughs> like, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's a big deal, man. That's a huge deal. So we'll see if Chad can make that run, but Spargo definitely going to be the first person into Winterside Top 8 here. Yeah, and I mean, talk about an imposing figure to see. This bracket was already deep, but then you just go ahead, you get through all of this, and then you see Spargo. I mean, that's going to be a tough ask for one of either Riddles 